when he defeated the soldier, another soldier bayoneted him. Mm. That on. Those are one of the grim instances in the ba that Batan that much. Mm -hmm. That's why I said your statement is Lord does not bring right into our ears. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, let, let me say to each of you, uh, I, I apologize for causing offense. Uh, I should not have said what I did. Um, I, I, I'll share with you the context of, of the comment I made uh, because I was not attempting to compare my filibuster to that suffering. It was at the end of, of what had been nearly 22 hours, mm -hmm. and, and I was uh, thanking the floor staff. You know, there are a number of staff on the Senate floor who had to be there the whole night, mm -hmm. and they didn't have a choice on it. And so I was, had actually put together a list of everyone on the floor staff and all of the uh, police officers and all of the pages and everyone who was forced to stay there all night. Mm -hmm. And it was in the context of thanking them that I thank them for enduring, and that's when I use the analogy. Um, I was trying to say that they had endured a, a long period of suffering, not of their choosing, but, but I understand that that comment caused offense, and I apologize. That was not my intention to do so, and in fact, my intention was to thank them for their service, is what I was trying to say. But, but let me say to each of you, I thank you for your service. You know, I mean, I will tell you, Listen, I come from a family uh, that has experienced suffering. My father in Cuba was mm -hmm. imprisoned and tortured. Mm -hmm. uh, my aunt in Cuba was imprisoned and tortured savagely. Uh, so I, I likewise come from a family that has experienced mm -hmm. the atrocities that one man can inflict on another. And it was not my intention to make light of it or to suggest, and indeed in the course of the filibuster many times, I, I made a point that, listen, our here talking is, is nothing compared to the suffering people all over this country are having when they're struggling to feed their kids, to provide for their families. And, and so it was not my intention to cause offense. And, and I, want, I want you to hear from me personally and directly that apology to you. Uh, with regard to the specific legislation you raised, I mean, we're certainly happy to uh, to take a look at, at, at the pieces of legislation and, and to, to analyze them on, on their own merits and, and assuming they are legislation that, that we would support and we, we'd want to look at them and see, see what specifically they're doing. But, you know, I can tell you it, it is a real passion of mine. Uh, standing up and defending uh, the men and women of the military and, and the men and women who have served. I thank you for your service, for your son's service. Okay. Um, th that has been a passion of mine for a long time. It's the reason that I serve on the Senate Armed Services Committee is because particularly in Texas, with such a large military presence in Texas, it's important for a Texan to be on that committee. And, and we have viewed My predecessor in this office, Senator K. Bailey Hutchison, over the decades built a reputation as a, a ferocious defender of the men and women of the military, and that is a legacy I very much intend to work hard to continue. And in fact, I'll tell you, when I was before I was in the Senate, one of the things I was very proud of is that repeatedly I represented the American Legion and the VFW and veterans uh, pro bono uh, for free uh, in litigation, in one instance defending the Mojave Desert Veterans Memorial that, that stands in California to remember the men and women who gave their lives in World War I. And, and that, that memorial was ordered taken down by a federal court and, and I represented the American Legion and the uh, VFW before the U.S. Supreme Court and did so for free, and, and we won a 5-4 victory upholding that monument. Um, likewise, I also represented the American Legion another time, uh, suing the VA because the VA had implemented a policy um, 
where at the funerals of those who lost their lives defending our nation, they were prohibiting volunteers from, from saying to the grieving families, God bless you. And, and they had put in place a rule that you were not allowed to say God bless you, that a volunteer was not allowed to say that. And so I was very proud to represent the American Legion suing the VA, and ultimately the, the VA settled and changed their policy and said we're not going to gag volunteers who are comforting the families of those who are grieving and we're not going to prohibit them uh, from saying God bless you. So fighting for the men and women of our military as best I can in the Senate is, is a passion of mine. It is a commitment that has been a commitment and I can tell you I intend for it to continue to be a commitment going forward. And so I'm very glad you had an opportunity to to meet with Jeremy. Jeremy is our military legislative uh, assistant, and so his responsibility in particular is to focus on issues uh, impacting the military. And, and so I would encourage you to continue to work with Jeremy on the particular issues that, that y'all are focused on and how we can work together. Um, and, and I will, you know, I, I will make a commitment to you on this front, which is that on issues on which we are standing together side by side. Um, I, I don't think you will find um, someone who is more tenacious in this body. Uh, and, and and actually your, rep, your, your service as a chaplain. Yes, I'm, I I'm, stayed on it almost four years ago. You know, I'm reminded. <laughs> I'm reminded of, different places. you know, just recently the Air Force chaplain in Alaska mm -hmm. who was reprimanded for writing uh, in a blog post that there are no atheists in Fox News. And, and he was forced to take that down and publicly reprimanded, and I have been mm -hmm. quite vocal speaking out on his behalf. Mm -hmm. uh, and indeed, in the National Defense Authorization Act, there were two amendments, one of which I introduced, the other of which I co-sponsored, both directed at religious liberty for chaplains mm -hmm. and for the men and women of the military not to restrict the